It's awesome that you're tuning in and it's just great to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell and let's do this unboxing with this new 2020 model Pandora box. And it's a single player version, something totally different, so I'm very curious what are we going to get. Alright, let's open it up, let's see how they packed it up. Oh, the packaging itself is not bad at all. Ooh, it's not bad at all. Alright, so as you can see over here, it comes in this very nice styrofoam packaging. Alright, so the first thing that I'm noticing, it doesn't have the joystick, I'm guessing you need to assemble it before we can play. Let's see what's more in this package. Alright, so I want to point out this is the Pandora Box 6, so no games inside. You need to add them yourself. Comes with the manual, the deluxe toilet paper manual, with some information regarding the Pandora Box. This is the Pandora Box commitment. And as you can see, sorry, I really like this. You can see all different models. Comes with the the basic cable, the HDMI, very long HDMI cable uh, from the official Pandora box store. They are always giving you this high quality version. Powerful power supply, 16 gigabyte sand disk for storage in your files. And a spare button or spare buttons. And here we have an European cable. Keep in mind if you're in or order the right one. CCI the iron having one spare bottom sometimes it comes with two and here we have the dust cover and the ball let's assemble it I don't know what you think of this but it is not the best option because the joystick itself is spinning while I am trying to put the joystick on so I think this is not a very smart idea but nevertheless it seems to be that it is yeah, it's on this position. All right, so let's do a little bit of overview of the device itself. We have a six button. Very happy they just give you six buttons simply because we don't need more from the Pandora box. Keep in mind, you can connect these things to an old PlayStation 3 and Xbox system. Not a big fan of it. Doesn't work very well. So the joystick, um, yeah, it's more like the Chinese semi-clones. Not the Wicked Wiggle stick because some of the Pandora box have horrible joysticks. Start, select. So, but the first thing that I'm noticing with this device I will put it in front of the camera like this. Not seeing the picture, I was thinking, uh, cutting this very long, very weird looking single player stick, but holding it in my hand, as you can see, it's not very big. So if you're searching for a single player version, I think this can be something very interesting. All right, so let's turn it around and let's take a close look at the connection. We are having here the on and off switch. Input for the power adapter, HDMI out, VGA out. This is the jack out. Volume control, little button for going into the settings. We're having three USB connections on this device. We can't use USB joysticks, just want to point it out. Uh, this is only for connecting to a game system itself, and this need to be, yeah, this is the one that's going to be used for the USB thumb drive. So what I think is really cool, the Pandora box light up feature, RGB, that is basically fading in, fading out to, between different colors. Very cool little feature. All right, so let's boot up the system. Comes with this fancy intro. Dun. But yeah, at the end, it's basically something like Pandora box number six. The nightmare never ends. All right, so for the people new to the product, I'm going to give you a small recap of, of this menu itself. What are you going to get? So we're having here the main list. When going up and down with the joystick, you can see it's going to swap through the games. And of course, you're going to get another preview video. Going left and right, you can go to the next page. Yeah, we're going to need this feature because we have 131 different pages. When pressing start, that is one of the newest and best features of this device. That's we having the option to go search through a letter. It already says how many games are on it. And here we have a categorized system. So that's very convenient, very cool. And also what this thing has for shoot em up, you were having the automatic shoot or shoot or uh, automatic burst mode or something like that. So that's very cool. It will always ask you before starting the game, you want to have this automatic shooting option or burst mode. Very cool, very nice. Another great feature of this device is you can add your own games. 
the only downside to adding the own games is very simple when you go into the end of the list we're always going to be on the end of the list so they're very easy to find but as you can see we're having this little character so there is no categorized system or better said in the categorized system there is no option for this so we always need to look at the end of the list so if you're adding let's say for example 200 games we still have the messy list so a little bit of a downside to be honest playstation 1 is supported so that is something that i just want to say but keep in mind it's very flawed simply because um, it crashes sometimes due of the combination of there is no rumble function because we're using an arcade stick and it will basically destroy or crash the emulator so i just want to just wanted to say to you it is something you need to consider so it works with the games around but if you add the games all more like in gamble when we're pressing the button we're going to the same menu uh, just basic option for example yo testing for testing if everything is mapped like it should be you have a custom button if you want to change something out keep in mind when changing button layout it changes for every single game so that's a big big problem system configuration we have the little things like uh, how long should take go out of the menu does it go automatically out of the menu how long it's going to take quality optimization going to turn it off by the way and little things i know you can change the aspect ratio i know a lot of people are asking it it's just a messy thing that never updated it i hope in pandora book 7 or pandora book 30 we can just finally change the access ratio and when we change something just save settings and reboot all right let's play this game let's see what it is i have no idea where my buttons are oh there it is what the hell is this <laughs> You can find so many weird games on these collections. Games you have never seen before. And some are pretty fun to play. Like this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so in the next part, we're going to open it up. Yeah, that's another going to work, Rick. It. Grab yourself a good screwdriver. All right, so in this part, we are going to do a little bit of disassembly because I just wanted to show you what's inside of the Pandora's box. We're going to open up Pandora's box. Because if you want to upgrade this thing to another system, for example, the Pandora Game 3D or Pandora Box 9, or maybe in the future they're finally going to release a new version, you can just open it up and swap the main board. And it is something that's very cool. So not only that you're, let's say, spending your money and quite some money on a device, you always have the option to update it with something else. And I really like this idea. Keep in mind, and you can see it already here, it's in the case itself. So when you're buying a new mainboard, it needs to be in the case. So you can basically swap it out. But I'm guessing you can't use this case every time. And the reason why is very simple, because the connection at the back, there can be a little bit of a difference. But because this thing is now one big gap, it doesn't matter which Pandora mainboard you put in it. All right, so you flip it open like this. Basically are just two shells. As you can see, we're having the tiny, little speaker over it. It's pretty loud, so I'm very satisfied about it. And here we have the main board itself. It's an older edition nowadays. It's just in quad core, but it works like a charm. So here we turn it around. You can see the joystick itself. It's in Samba clone, so you can replace it with a Samba joystick if you want to have a better, let's say a better experience with the gameplay. But don't get me wrong, this thing is quite good. I am very happy with it. And it depends a little bit what version of the box you buy, but with this thing, it's not bad at all. Same for goes for the buttons, you just click it out and replace them. So this is pretty convenient. If you're having a problem, you have something that is broken, you can just swap it out. There are not a lot of parts inside the Pandora box, and uh, the case itself is pretty universal, if you ask me. Four little screws, and you can open it up. Alright, so that brings us to the final conclusion. What did I think of it? So, first of all, I was pretty surprised about the casing itself. It looks very nice. Uh, it looks a little bit better than on the picture itself. So, if I was the Pandora box store, I would just definitely change it or make better pictures. But I really like it. It's a very tiny stick. It's very compact. So, but I think that is the biggest problem with the two player versions. Uh, it's very clunky. It's very big and you need a lot of space for it. And this thing is just easy to store, pick it up. Uh, you can remove the arcade stick, but I'm not a big fan of this thing because you can just turn it loose very easily. Nevertheless, Pandora Box can be upgraded, so this is what you're going to get. But I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked Family, and this means I will see you in my next video.